Thanks for volunteering. This is for the uh, long distance group. Our first event is the mile. We will start with this right away. It starts right here at the beginning of the playground. Now the recess will probably be out at that time, but they don't, you know, go over to the, the uh, cement, so we're good. They're gonna start here. They're gonna run on the cement path. They're gonna follow around behind the baseball diamond. Okay, so we may, if we have extra people or extra kids, you know, may wanna just line a couple people up here just, you know, to remind them where to go. They go over the bridge. We're just gonna kind of follow with your. Okay. They go around the pond. Okay, they come out over here at the end of the, of the pond. Now, in the past years, we turned right by the edge of the pond by those weeds. Well, we're gonna complete the path. There is a, the first yellow tree, which works out perfect because it's fall here. The first yellow tree, that's where the path either goes to the left or the right. They're gonna go to the right and continue towards the school. You can see a little patch of cement over there by the geese. They're, so they're running this way. And it's marked on the tree. You're good, say hi. <laughs> they're lunch and uh, You can see it here through the tree. They're gonna come through the path in between the weeds. This is where they leave the path and the only place they leave the path. They're, it's painted on the ground. This is where we would want to have an adult to stand. So whoever starts it can probably walk right there to the weed's edge and direct them to go around the weeds and straight up the hill. Um, all Everything's marked at the quarter and the half on the ground. The three quarter mark is about a quarter of the way up that hill and it's marked. So they finish that, they go over and down, they head straight to the cement sidewalk. It's painted. They're going to follow the sidewalk to the Maywatt sign, and then they're directed by the arrows to curve around, and it ends right here. So it worked out perfect. And they've all run it. The mile kids they've have all, all run it, so the they mile, know the... So they should be good. And remember, when you do this, you want to just get one, two, three boys, one, two, three girls. Um, that's all you need as far as times. You don't even need to read times after that. If you want to, it's fine. But you want to immediately send the one, two, three, first, second, third, to the recorder. The recorder is going to write down their name, their class, their time. Please don't throw away that because I need it. Don't erase those at the end when you've gone to the record keeping area. Uh, keep the names and the scores. Um, and then uh, don't forget to, you know, count the number of kids. Yeah, make sure they when they make start, it. so oh, that we'll have you don't somebody leave them. up here um, at the top of the hill, and probably somebody at the Maywatch sign. So those people should work together really quick to pick an honorable mention, and then they're going to follow that last person in by walking. Um, as soon as you're done with that and you get the people recorded, even if you can just leave one person here to continue with this little stragglers, and let us know we'll start the 800. So do you want to keep this all in one? We can keep this all in one video. Okay. So the 800 starts here, same place as the 400. That's when we're going to start the second round because everything is timed off of the mile. So the 800 is just two laps around the cones. Um, it starts here, it ends here. Uh, with the, excuse me, you're probably pointing at it. So, okay, so you go around the orange cone, orange cone with the flag, orange cone with the flag, orange cone with the flag, and then they end up here. Uh, the 400 and the 800 are run exactly on the same course. Nobody who's in the mile or the 800 is gonna run the 400, so shouldn't be any issues with that if they're run right after each other. Um, they should all get drinks, and they should all get a Tootsie Roll or a Hershey's Kiss when they're done, um, and then, you know, walk over to their next event. So that's it with the 800. Um, we can run them all at once. We don't need to separate the boys and the girls. And you just read their times. And again, top one, two, three. So first, second, third, you tell them to move to the side. They go right to the recorder. They give them their name, class, and score. Um, and then we will start the 400 after the 800. Anything else you want to add? Okay, so that's the long distance events.